Today's the day. It's June 13th, 2020. I just woke up like an hour ago at like nine o'clock. I slept in. I'm not working today. I'm just taking the day easy because it is fight day and this is my fight day vlog. <laughs> To keep you guys updated on what I do today, this is going to be posted after I actually post the fight um, by itself, which is happening tonight. So, this is my day of preparation for the fight. I'm starting the day off by... Well, I started the day off by brushing my teeth. That's what I did. I brushed my teeth. Now I just woke Bang up and we are going to rewatch last summer's fight. Just give me a little bit of motivation because... I definitely didn't uh, um, do my very best in that fight, to say the least. But it's interesting because it's going to be weird because looking back on it, I mean, I didn't know what the heck I was doing. And I'm very interested to see how I look. Um, other than that, today I'm going to hit the bag a little bit. I'm going to train for probably about probably small increments of time throughout the day. I'm going to make sure I eat, and then I have to go pick up people who are coming over for the fight tonight. Um, we're going to have a massive get-together, and it's going to be interesting. Don't worry, we're going to be wearing masks, so, and we're going to be practicing social distancing. Um, but, yeah, it's going to be a heck of a night, so we'll see how it goes. Now I'm just pulling up my YouTube channel here. Whew! Throwback to when I made this hype video. This does this does get me hyped though. Whoa. Oh. Yeah, that's hype though, you gotta admit. I mean, come on, that's Oh he's screaming! Why is it why is it up and down though? Who's recording this? Pete. <laughs> Thank God I'm not gonna do the ref this time. I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> oh, David had shoes on. I didn't. I've got to wear shoes this time. <laughs> oh, there's the intro! Alright, let's see how bad it is. What I remember what I remember is why'd you use the towel bang? What are you doing? What I remember is David just came out hot. Oh my god, I'm throwing right jabs. <laughs> so he goes, oh, what is that? Bailey, with the swing, buddy. Oh my god, I'm so bad. I'm my stance is backwards. I'm CEO. I'm playing south. I'm 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 running southpaw right now. I'm CEO blocking the camera. He's beating the crap out of me. Okay, Jack. I, I seriously do not like Jack Gibbons in this video. He doesn't shut up. Oh, I did. I just hit a few jabs there. I just kept swinging. Uh, this entire first round, they would flex you up. I, I am so skinny in this video. Like, I have no weight on me. Like, especially around my stomach. I'm going to look so fat tonight. When I actually take my shirt off, because I've gained weight. I've gained like 10 pounds. I actually pulled the that was a minute. That was definitely that was a minute. One minute yeah. My timer just stopped randomly, so I was like, is it done? Oh, that's awkward. Power shots. Okay, buddy. I got it. Three rounds, three minutes. Dude, the fight tonight is going to be so different than this. I like, we're... <clears throat> I don't want to be in the ring. I was fucking stuck. Hey, rap, 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 rap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. <laughs> Jack Givens literally doesn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> I like my coach because my coach doesn't say anything to me. He doesn't bother me during the fight. Okay. He was low-key flecking you up, though. <laughs> yeah, but he was hitting me in the back a bunch. 
<laughs> okay. When you they were just grab and start fucking shit up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why am I fighting Southpaw is my question. There was one there was one point where I caught him in the stomach. Oh, this, this quality is so bad. It's not focused because Pete's doing it. I'm going to have it on a tripod tonight, just going. Yeah, it's it's not going to stop. Gosh. 6.57. we got a lot of people over. They're all ready to watch the fight outside, practice social distancing at the same time. Um... I'm ready to go. I'm pumped. That's a Red Bull down. <sighs> Time to lace up. So it's been a week since I did my fight with David. Since we completed the fight, I guess is what you could say. It's been a week. I let myself sit for a week. Um, just for my body to recover, for my mind to recover from that. And obviously it's not the outcome that we wanted. The little pieces of video that you just watched were from the actual fight day, just some some things that I recorded. For the most for the most part I just sat sat around that whole day and just let the tension build up and uh I got loose. I, I hit the bag a couple times that day, but I didn't overexert any energy or anything like that. I was energized and I was ready to go for that fight. My reflection back on it is did I repair did I prepare well did i prepare in the right way yes i'd say so i was in good shape i am in good shape i just had my first workout since the fight and i feel good i lifted i ran i feel perfectly fine my if you guys were worried about my health or david's health at all we're both good i've talked to him after the fight he's he's fine um but did i prepare did I prepare enough for the fight um, is the other question that I asked myself. And I don't necessarily know if I did. Not in not in a, a way where I felt like I wasn't ready, but I felt like I could have done more. Um, obviously, this was just a fight between two friends. Like you, In real life, David Utrey and I are very good friends. We went to high school together. Um, we've done, we've, we met each other through musical theater. Uh, I mean, we really, we've bonded and we've, I mean, I, I've grown up with the kid. I've taken trips across the country with him for speech and debate. I mean, it's, we, we've been really close for a lot of years and we still are. And it was just a good friendly boxing match. Um, and obviously neither of us are boxers. So you guys have to take that into consideration. Um, am I disappointed that I lost? Yeah, of course. Obviously. I mean, why would I, why would I not be disappointed? Obviously when you go into a competition against someone or multiple people, your goal is to win. You want to come out on top, no matter what the competition is. And I'm a very competitive person. I have a very competitive spirit. And I think that this taught me a lesson about my work ethic. And I think that it taught me that Obviously, you're not always going to win, and you're not always going to get what you want in the end. Even if you feel like you did everything everything in your willpower to get the result that you wanted. Um, after the fight, I talked to the ref, and I talked to the judges a little bit about their de decisions. I won uh, one round. Obviously, David won two for him to take on the victory. They were three rounds, three minutes each. David won first round. I won second round. David won third round. Now, I completely agree with the second and third round. That's what I told the judges right after the match. I said, I know I won second round, and I know for sure David won third round because I was gassed at the end of the fight. However, coming out at the top of the fight, um, I felt like I was the aggressor. Uh, if you go back and watch the fight, uh, one of my friends, Colin Chapanier, actually counted up the amount of punches that were thrown and landed. He said that I threw and landed 36, 
David successfully landed 28. So I almost had him, I, I almost had him by 10 punches in total, which is, I mean, I know that doesn't seem like a lot, but in the scheme of a, you know, a nine minute boxing match, a match that short, that's a lot. And I felt like that should have stood out to the people watching, but apparently it didn't. Um, the point is, I felt like I, round, I won round one, but I can't change it. And I'm not going to keep complaining about it because it's just beating a dead horse. And then people are going to give me crap about it. So <sighs> the point is, it was a good fight. And I wish I wish David Utri uh, all of my congratulatory uh, response. I, I wish him the best. I'm proud of him for coming out on top because he fought hard, obviously. Um, but yeah, that was the that was the fight. And that was the outcome that we had. And now I'm uh, just chilling in my car on a very hot summer day. It is 90 degrees outside. 90 degrees. 90 degrees. In Wisconsin. And I'm sweating. But honestly, if you guys haven't tried it yet, try working out consistently. Because it makes you feel really good. Like, I feel you, you look like crap because you're so sweaty and you're so tired. But you feel so good on the inside. Not only mentally, but physically. It's double gratification. Because you feel so good for uh, for finally working out. And it's mentally satisfying. Because you know you pushed yourself and you left everything out there. And at the same time, your body is thanking you because it's helping your health. And it feels so good. You feel so relaxed. You feel just like completely chill. I'm going to go home and put these videos together. I hope you guys enjoyed the fight. And I hope you enjoyed this small short vlog that I had. I don't exactly know what content content will be coming up on the channel. However, I just want you guys to know that I am still here and I am still alive. And we are going to reach 1,000 subscribers this year. It's happening. So if you haven't done so, hit that subscribe button. And I will see y'all in the next one.